Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Yep, this is Penlight. And, and you know what? This is continue. Yeah. Alright guys, we are here. Uh, so we gotta choose one of these options that we last in in the last episode. Okay, I can speak today. So yeah, uh let's lie about respecting our boundaries. I wonder what will happen. Alright, yeah, that sounds reasonable to me. It's bullcrap that now all of a sudden she wants to impose all these conditions to on, on me, but there's no way I want to stop what we're doing. I was hoping I was hoping you'd say that. And besides, if she can't be uh, underhanded about this, then she can hardly blame me for being a little back now, can she? In any case, Nozomi smiles and leans back on the couch. I must have watched that video a dozen times last night, just watching myself go under and trying to remember what I thought and felt at the time. <laughs> and do you? No better than before, no, I just remember there being this part of flashing every time you shone the light in my eyes. And I was trying so hard to make it out, really trying to focus, but I just couldn't figure out what I was looking at. But I never felt frustrated about that, it was so right in my head to keep focusing even while my eyelids were dropping. And before I knew it, I felt like I, felt like I was underwater. I was so calm, relaxed and vaguely happy that I didn't f feel worried by that and everything else in my head just seemed to vanish. All that was left was the vague, wait, vague feeling of your voice in my mind, vague, I don't know how to pronounce that, and how good these all felt. So what I'm hearing is you want to do this again right now? Please, setting boundaries was important, but I won't lie, I've been looking forward to this all day. I mean, you enjoyed it too, didn't you? Yeah, just watching you go into a trance and my world felt pretty hot. Oh god, okay, chill. Chill, kill. <laughs> just don't get too carried away, right? Of course. That's me, crinkles her lips as he seems to bother something. Oh, uh, what is it now? Well, when that said, what I was thinking about last night, I did have another thought. It's a curi uh, curiosity, really, but I wanted to mention it. Yeah, what's that? Well, after having felt what it's like falling into a trance so easily, I had a half a mind to see if I could do it to you too. <laughs> what? It's just looking at the video you made it seem so easy i can't tell but wonder if you really are a naturally gifted hyp hypnotist or if i'm super susceptible or suggestible or susceptible i think it's this word she shrugs i don't know really like i said it's just a curiosity i'm more than happy to to be the subject again but what do you think about me being the hypnotist for tonight no sorry i don't think that's something I'd be into. Damn, that came out a little more forceful than I intended, bruh. But Nosumi seems to take it its tr stride and just shrugs her shoulders again. Alright, Q, so with all that said, what should we do today? Okay, well, I was thinking we could try a trigger this time. A trigger? You mean a post hypnotic trigger? Yeah, I figured I could say something to you and and it trigger or a post -hyp hypnotic response and and I'd only work in this house for of course. Don't see me nods her head approvingly. That's a bad. Okay, Marco, you need to focus what you read. Right, only in this house, but still, what what will we do? I was thinking it could. Oh my god, a lot of options again. Uh, put you back in trance? Turn you into a zombie? Well, I want, I want, I want to see what happened. Make you think you're a zombie. What? You know, have you shovel around a bit and moan about brains and crap? Haha, <laughs> that sounds nuts. Are you gay? <laughs> Are you gay? <laughs> god damn it. Are you game? Nutsumi falls silent for a moment as she seems to think it over. 
I don't know, it's a bit out there, isn't it? She's not saying no, maybe if she had a little encouragement. It's not that crazy. People dress up as zombies for Halloween all the time, and it's fun to act like one sometimes, right? Maybe some people are into that stuff. I don't really like the whole horror genre per personally. I don't know if I want to walk around your house moaning about eating your brain. It's kind of dumb. Okay, it seems she's more embarrassed by the idea than anything. Yeah, it's dumb, but so what? Who's going to see that? Uh, you. I chuckled her. <laughs> I've already seen you fail to count to 10. How much worse could this be? Urgh. So it'll be fine, this is the two of us doing something fun, like you said. And if you still don't want to do it, then the trigger won't work at all, will it? I guess not. That's me then, I settles herself by shaking her head. I mean, it won't. If I don't like it, it won't accept the trigger. That's right, so do you want to try it? Let me take you into trance again and see if I can convince you. Not to me hesitates to answer, maybe this isn't quite what she had in mind for tonight, but it's clear that it's clear she really wants us to do another session no matter what. Alright, if you think we can do it, and again, so we're clear, only only to work in this house. We're clear. I say as I pull the pen light from my pocket, which sends me resistors immediately. <sighs> the pen light, the most evil thing that it can exist on the visual novel game, the pen light. So shall we get to it? Natsumi smiles, then reaches into her pocket and hands me her phone. Mm -hmm. Smiling back at her, I take her phone once again and set it to record. I'm sure if this is I'm not sure if this is still a trust thing or if she just wants another vid for her own pleasure. Once I've set the phone to record and pointed the camera at her, I I then click the pen light on and playfully wave the beam before her eyes. You recognize this light, not me, so you know how natural it is to want to look into it. You know how relaxed it makes you feel trying to make out the Plantern that begins to form once again. Alright, you're starting to become drossy sleepy and that's okay, not to me. It's perfectly correct that you feel tired under the light. It's a very natural, very comforting, very safe to feel this way. This watching the light back and forth, back and forth. It's becoming very easy to drop into a nice relaxing sleep for me, not to me. Very easy, very natural, as natural as breathing. So natural sl sleep, not to me. That's right, not to me. Back in this nice, safe, relaxing state of trance. So you may think I'm some kind of prodigy with hypnosis, but when how easy that was, I wonder how much of it is down to her being an excellent subject. Nice and relaxed, ready to listen and accept my words, isn't that right, not to me? Right. Very good. Going deeper now, not to me. Chopping deeper, feeling more and more wonderful to be this deeply hypnotized. So, wouldn't it be nice if I could say something to you while you're awake, just between us, to show us how deeply hypnotized you can be? Sure. A little hesitation, but I think this will take. No, I just got an impress on her that being a zombie out of my world will be a fun and comfortable experience. And if I want to achieve that, I'll have a much easier time if I don't tell her how to be a zombie. I'll tell her to use her own imagination instead. Yeah, she may feel a bit a better about this whole thing if she can express herself how she wants. Yes, it would. So, from now on, not to me, whenever we are alone in this house and I say, Time to dream. Lame brain. <laughs> Time to dream. Why, I can't choose that one? Damn. Lame brain then. You will find yourself compelled to become e exactly what you believe a zombie to be. It doesn't have to happen immediately. You can take several seconds to think about zombies. But the more you think about zombies, the more you can feel yourself becoming like the zombies you picture in your mind. You'll become more and more like the zombies in your mind until you find 
back until you find you are completely as zombie as you pictured it. But remember, this will only happen when I say the phrase, lame brain, and only while we are alone in this house. If ever we are no longer lo alone or in this house, the phrase lame brain and its effect will not influence you in any way. Do you understand what's me? Yes. She, under she understands, alright, but does she accept it? She doesn't seem to be in any discomfort from what she heard, so maybe that's a good sign? Very good, not to me. It's something you'll perceive without even having to think about it. It's as natural to you as breathing or blinking. Let yourself accept this new programming making. Programming. Making a natural part of you and then slowly begin to wake up as I count to five. One, feeling so good about being hypnotized. Two, feeling happy and refreshed. Three, happily accepting your new programming. Four, beginning to test your eyelids, letting them open. And five, wide awake. Uh, I'm awake. I'm awake. I took as I watched her snap back to life, then hand her back her phone. So you are. She smiles as she takes the phone back in her hands, looking at it, and then at me. That felt faster than before. Yeah, you were in a hard job last time, but today was even easier. Also me nods as she starts playing the video back on her phone, looking to the screen. I guess I should try that trigger right anyway. I'm still blown away by how easy you make it look. Uh, well, maybe I find it so easy because you're just a lame brain. That was... Uh, oh god. For, oh man, is she slur slurring her speech? What's that not to me? I see swirl from her phone to look straight at me or through me as her lips twinkle while she struggles to mouth, mouth a reply. Ah, oh, so it's time to be a zombie now. Holy crap, she really is slurring at her speech. So this is what she imagines being a zombie is like. And she's letting it play out in front of me. <laughs> You're evil cube. Come on to me, use your words. Ho yo ho ho. This is something else. This is something else indeed. Um <laughs> Why I find this funny? I'm still laughing as not to me. Saved off the couch, her phone chopping off her lab as it continues to play the videos she once she was watching. <laughs> as she sickly gets to her feet, Notsumi takes a shuffling step toward me, a sliver of troll chopping off the corner of her mouth. Zush <laughs> brain. Oh god, I wasn't sure how this would pan out, but she's taking to this so much better than I hoped she would. What's the matter, not so you hungry? Br brain. Just the way her foot slides over the floor, barely off the ground, and the way her arms are limply raised in front of her. You want a bite of me, huh? I could take a step back as her arms <laughs> fly adorably in front of me, clutching at the air I leave behind while she bares her teeth. Oh man, you're pretty good at this. With a grin, I refuse a barely coherent request with a shake of the head. Instead, I take another step back as I take out my own phone looking for the video recorder app while keeping an eye on her softling form. Try harder. I'm sure not to me one of my me shooting a video of her like this. It's too hilarious to pass up. Girls, your brain. I laugh and take another step back as Natsumi lets out an irritated low moan. That says a lot of drawing she's dripping off her chin there. That's kind of gross. Brain with the sun alone, Natsumi's hands manage to catch me before I can react. It's enough to make me lose my balance and I stumble to the floor, my phone slipping from my hand and bouncing dully onto the rug in front of us. The impact reached 
winds me slightly but i look up quickly to find out sumi on top of me still drawing and we're and we're having a truly monstrous expression and that's when i realized he may be a little too good at this whole zombie thing uh, uh oh sh crap <laughs> not me once again Tripping over my school blazer as she tries to bite down my cheek with all her mate. She's, she's not ending up. Oh, no, no, not me. Hey, wake up now. Brain. Oh, yeah, my hand on her throat keeps her teeth from burning down my face as she keeps pushing towards me with all her m Oh my god, what did you do? I said, freaking wake up. Grrr. I didn't want to do it, I really didn't, I really didn't, but she left me with no other choice but to kick her away. C crap, not so, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I stagger back to my feet and do the best that I can to smooth this over. But as I go to her and see her face again, I can't really believe she isn't listening to anything I have to say. Because right now she's only interested in one thing. Brain. I see cells and lungs at me again. I turn and run up the stairs, only, only to see her follow behind me. Seeing her shakily pull up the stairs, arms still raised, I ponder whether it's possible to hypnotize a, z a zombie into giving up its brain based diet. Oh my god. And I see too much. What if? Look what you did! You literally made her feel like a zombie. No, she's. Hacking you. How do you feel? How do you feel, you stupid funny guy? I dash into my room and locked the door behind me as I realized my stupidity. I never told her when she could stop. And a slow pounding on my bedroom door confirms Don't Sumi has no intention of stopping. Don't Sumi, come on, wake up. Brain. If she won't snap out of itself, then. If I ever we are no longer alone or in this house, the phrase lame brain and its effect will not influence you in any way. Right. If, now we're having flashbacks in the vision novel. Damn. First read it. First read what, Is that even a word? Damn. Right. If she's holding true to the decision I made, then she'll stop once she's out of the house. So I just gotta lead her outside. If I can jump off the balcony, it's not a big drop from here. I could open the front of door from outside and uh, no, how am I gonna get back into my room if I leave my bedroom door locked? And if I unlock the door and let Nosumi in, she could chase me right off the balcony and I don't want to think about what happens then. So Doc Notsumi is pounding. So Doc. Not so me spouting on the door again. I gotta act now before the neighbors start to think there's something seriously wrong with us. I really don't want to have to explain this to anyone, and I don't think Not so me will appreciate that attention either. All right, all I, go all I gotta do is open my door and rush past the girl. <sighs> Sorry. Rush past the girl who wants nothing more than a to feast on whatever she can find in my skull. Bracing myself, I slide the lock and push the door hard. The door smacks not to me, squares in the forehead, sending her falling backwards onto the floor. Doc! I'm abandoning my plan to run, I crouch down and ch check not, not to me over that looked like it hurt. Oh crap, not to me, are you alright? Eyes opens as she looks to me when it Days the expression, and then, uh, ow, 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 get the dog off of me. Tearing myself away from her, I just to my original plan and dash back down the stairs. I just realized, isn't this the same thing they put on DDLC? It is, actually, right? She just missed biting into my head, but she got a good chunk of my hair with those chompers of hers. Jesus, duck, that hurt. That's me down here. I can hear a groan from above as she picks herself up and st starts suffering towards the stairs. Stroop. Just then I hear an ominous sounding thud. That's me? 
Look around and see her face first on the stairs, her glasses falling off her ears as she tries to crawl back up and continue coming after me. She's... She's... How the dog is she still a zombie after that? Seems all I can do is watch as she continues to crawl and soar down the stairs while I open my front door and lead her outside. Grr. Oh. What? What am I doing? <laughs> oh, I never seen her face like that. I instant light it as we move her hands from out in front of her to Telly clutch her head as he starts to cry out in pain. Uh, ow. Right, that's me. Let's get back inside quick before anyone sees us. Damn! Look what you did! I learned this fast and ensures not to me back to the cats and briefs aside, nursing my head. That wasn't as fun as I thought it'd be. I feel like I'm br brushed black and blue and I cut my foot somehow. What did you do, Kiyu? Just like I said I would, I made you think you were a zombie. And it's just that you were extremely good at it. See, when the C starts pressing her fingers against the sole of her injured foot. Wait, how did she cut her foot? C can you find my glasses? I most chugged them while I was doing zombie things. I know as I remember exactly where I last saw them and quickly moved to check the staircase. Oh crap. Wait. Oh, you. She broke the glasses. Oh, he did broke the glasses. I don't know. I saw, I saw as I somehow had the mangled frame of her glasses which caused her to sigh despairingly. And now we know how I cut my foot. With a sigh of my own, I gloomy sit down as I watch her pulling strands off her, her out from between her teeth. I'm really sorry, I had no idea it would turn out like this, I swear. Yeah, still though. She spells me a sideward glance, then scoffs and takes her glasses back while she starts to pull herself back to her feet, instantly regretting it as she waits in pain. What? It's nothing. I'm going home. Can you walk? I can take you. Oh, and how do you think that's going to look? Sorry, I just... Yeah, it's not that painful to walk on. I can handle it. She says, wincing again as she half lips towards the door. Are you sure? I said I can handle it. Slipping her shoes back and pulling the door open, she sighs and talks once more without looking to me. See you tomorrow, Kyo. God damn it, I just don't understand. Turning to a zombie wasn't a weird or dangerous thing to suggest her it wasn't it's something people suggest a hypnotist so so for fun no one's ever tried to let you bite someone on stage before i'm sure of that but not to me of all the people on the planet who went so much further in that suggestion than anyone in recorded history ever has what a docking disaster and now will she trust me again after this will she even want to talk to me after going through an experience like that and I just gotta go back to being the class creep that no one wants. Crap, I don't even know. Okay guys, I have to end the video right here. I know, I know, I know. It's only 25 minutes, I know. It's stupid, but I have to. I'm very sleepy. Uh, yeah, but don't worry. There's going to be more pen live videos. Just... Just be aware, and uh, yeah, uh, make sure to subscribe, uh, leave a like as well, and you also to, uh, to feel unsubscribe if you don't like this channel anymore, but I don't care. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video, and see you later. Bye-bye.